Hello and welcome to Craftoon. I'm Miss Mary and I'm here at the Pacific Grove Public Library and today we are making alien clothespins. So to do so you're going to need a clothespin uh, as well as pipe cleaners, a googly eye, and a marker if you want to add details on the alien's face, and paint if you want to paint your clothespin. Or you could use markers. Um, either way, you will also need glue to glue on that googly eye. All right, well, let's get crafting. And you can see my workspace here. I've covered it up with um, some paper. I'm going to put this down because it's dry. Um, you'll notice that I'm right in the midst of painting a new alien. And you know I like to use um, Q-tips as well as um, cupcake cleaners to give myself um, so I guess a way to paint without making too much of a mess. Um, and so when you're painting, if you choose to, your pipe, um, your uh, clothespin, you're going to want to make sure it is painted in its entirety. So everything should have some paint on it, even the underside. Um, I'll have to be real careful because part of this, as I said, I was painting earlier and it's still wet. So I'll make sure that I can paint a little bit more on the sides here. And when one side dries, you're just going to want to flip it to the next side. Um, you can see the top there. It's pretty close. And I have this other side to work on. However, I won't be able to show you uh, until that is dry. So let's start with the clothespin. And if you're not painting it, um, like I said, you could use markers. It's up to you. Or you could just leave it the way it is. Um, and um, here is a clothespin. So because they're aliens, um, the idea is to make them kind of wacky. So I have a, a blue one and I have my, a brown one as well. And the idea is with the clothespin is there's, of course, the place actually um, clip <laughs> and there's another little notch about halfway down and that's where you want to put your, um, your pipe cleaners. So it kind of goes right in the middle and there's a little space there, a little gap. Okay, so I can, I heard that click and now I know that's in the center and now I can just kind of do some crazy, wacky directions with the arms of my alien. Kind of swooping around or maybe you make a kind of um, a spiral. It's up to you what you'd like to do. And I'll swoop this one around. I think it looks kind of like a wing. Maybe my alien can fly. All right, now the next part is to add the eyes. And I thought it would be fun to take part of the pipe cleaner and cut it so that I could put eyeballs, <laughs> googly eyes, on the top. And it will fit very nicely right in here. So I'm just going to tuck it right in there and then you can see I have my eyes and I have the pipe cleaners and now um, I'm going to go ahead and include a mouth and I'm going to just draw it on with a marker so it's going to have an alien mouth right there. Okay, so there we are. There's the eyes, the mouth, and the arms of my alien. Um, I'm going to hold this up because I am done. Um, this is a way to be as creative as you'd like. Um, if you want to add more decorations, you can. Um, you can certainly add more eyes. Maybe you want your alien to have three eyes. Um, you can paint it. It's really up to you. So I hope you enjoy crafting along with me and keep on crafting. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.